Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to part six of building Imperial shipyards in Lego. Today's video, we're going to be focusing on the shipping containers mainly throughout this video, as well as just extending the mock like I have been the, the past videos. Uh, but this video is kind of a pivotal video because it's setting up for uh, a pretty big uh, next episode, I, I will say. I must say, the next, the next part will be a major part in the building series. I expect to have uh, some Architens class cruisers in the next part, uh, as well as hopefully having phase one of the mock complete. Uh, so that would be really, really nice to get that done. So that's why that this video is very, very important because uh, this one is kind of setting up for uh, almost going into the next stage, uh, setting up for almost the kind of finale, if you will, of, of, of phase one, hopefully. Uh, phase one will be complete in the next part. If not that part, then the part after that. Uh, but we're definitely close to getting the first phase of this mock uh, complete, and we should be able to get into the next phase. So I'm super excited for you know what the future has to hold, and also for this video to show you guys my progress. I've been building for quite some time today, trying to get this out of the way because I have a uh, flight in the morning where I've got to go to Boston, and. Yeah, I was trying to get caught up and hopefully I can get a video out to you guys uh, soon because I'm filming this on a Wednesday and hopefully this video can come out on a Friday. And of course, at that time, I will be in Boston. Uh, so I'm just trying to rush right now to get everything, uh, you know, fulfilled and ready to go uh, for you guys to see this next part of the mock. Now, before I dive into this video, there's two things I'd like to talk about. One, the Architens that I just mentioned, uh, you know, a few minutes ago. The Architens class cruiser is a brick vault design. It's not going to be my design, uh, but that, I did order the parts for it. I got the instructions for it. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me to check out brick vault's design of their kind of nano scale ships, and those are to scale with the Star Destroyer. Uh, the only problem is some of those I can't really necessarily use for how I'm using those certain ships, such as like the TIE Fighters. Those are built in a certain way where they're kind of made to kind of be built flying around or something, or up under a Gozanti. Uh, the, the problem with that is the TIE Fighters that I'm using are, are parked. So, you know, certain those some, some of those parts would look really funky, uh, exposed, just kind of laying around in the mock. Another thing is, I wanted to do a time lapse for this video. I really, really did, but I'm not going to do that one just because what I just mentioned earlier I uh, was trying to rush today getting everything built and what I wanted a time lapse was actually me building TIE Fighters. Uh, that was kind of the plan and I just kind of ran out of time to not build the TIE Fighters. So what I'm going to do is the next part and again this is why the next part is going to be a big episode is because the next part I'm going to have a major time lapse in that. I'm going to probably time lapse the TIE Fighters. I'm going to time lapse the Architens. Uh, me building those cruisers, and then I probably will time lapse me building the actual structural stuff to the mock. So that's the plan. Next part, again, going to be a big part, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the meat of this video, and we're going to look at, you know, in-depth look uh, and everything that I've pretty much added in today and somewhat of yesterday because I did build a little bit yesterday. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, so here it is once again, the shipyard. Now, of course, I want to say last part, I think we had, it's about here. I extended out all the way down there. So that's what I did. Now, of course, probably not a huge extension in terms of length, uh, but what takes so long with me building is the fact that I'm building up. And, you know, when, when you build up with Lego, unfortunately, uh, it takes longer and it's more expensive. So I, I kind of knew that going into this ambitious project, uh, that this was going to be uh, a real challenge. Uh, definitely, you know, extending out my funds, my parts collection. So I did add in some more TIE Fighter hangers. Uh, unfortunately, did not have enough time to add actual TIE Fighters in there, but next part we'll have that, so uh, that's fine. Uh, this this base plate, by the way, the second base plate is complete. Uh, everything is done with it. Well, not everything. There's a few deep, deep like detail stuff, like... Uh, right here, if you guys notice, I did some Greeble stuff here. Uh, I need to do that uh, on the sides there, uh, but I, uh, there's a little bit of like a Greeble patch there that I have to do. But other than that, everything is done on on this uh, on this base plate. Uh, everything is pretty much uh, complete. So I basically have two base plates done uh, with the mock. 
Of course, the third base plate is the last base plate for phase one. Uh, and then, of course, phase two is going to be those those back base plates back there. I think one of the coolest things that I added into this uh, kind of extension of the mock is the, if you guys notice, this kind of tower thing here. Uh, so what this is inspired from, actually, is uh, I, don't, I don't know if, if all navies around the world do this, but I know the uh, U.S. Navy uh, on their, like, secondary... Uh, flight decks uh, where they kind of store the like you know their helicopters and their uh, you know pretty much their aircraft uh, and they'll also put like their uh, the you know, like the bomb ordnance uh, elevators through uh, the second flight deck. Uh, I noticed that they had like kind of like these command center type things uh, inside of those uh, secondary flight decks inside of their aircraft carriers. Uh, so that's kind of the inspiration that that came from. Uh, of course, this is a, you know, a naval dock uh, for the Imperial Navy. So, uh, you know, I am taking inspiration from, you know, real life Navy uh, stuff, you know, in terms of like, you know, the cranes and the shipping containers. I, d I was thinking about doing mooring lines, uh, you know, connecting to the Star Destroyer, but I don't think that really makes sense. And you don't really see that in Star Wars. So uh, I decided not to do the mooring lines because, I mean, this thing isn't floating or anything. It's just kind of kind of there. So... Yeah, I mean, I am taking, uh, you know, inspiration from naval stuff now. But, but basically what, you know, I ha if you notice, I have two command centers. But the bottom one is for, is for all the ground vehicles. It's pretty much kind of uh, directing where the ground vehicles should go, uh, you know, if they're coming off the ship or onto the ship. Uh, it's kind of directing traffic, I guess. And then the top uh, command center is for the uh, aircraft, the uh, the spacecraft uh, inside of these hangars. If we come around here, this is what I find. All right, this is actually kind of cool. I, f I find this cool because I don't think in previous videos that I had this just flat all the way up. I, I want to say I had it kind of like, you know, some of this was not finished and it would jag up or something, uh, kind of like in a staircase type formation. Uh, but this is completely flat. Uh, it's in line, you know, going into the next base plate. I have that separated. Uh, so if I, you know, when I, when I do want to transport this thing, hopefully to Brick Fair, Virginia, uh, I can easily just take apart, you know, some of the connecting pieces uh, and then take it apart in sections. Uh, so that's why everything is not connected to this base plate, or at least not yet. Um, and I, I don't really plan on to unless it's, you know, like a tile right here or something that's actually connecting it. And focusing on the main topic on this video is the shipping containers. Now, I didn't build enough or I wouldn't say enough, but I didn't build as much as I wanted to for this video, uh, again, just because of time restrictions. Uh, but I did add in a few containers. Uh, and I, I mean, guys, this thing is just coming together like a full-blown dock with all the, you know, the markings and the different vehicles and the shipping containers and now the cranes are starting to come in. Uh, this thing is just starting to look, uh, or starting to look complete and everything's starting to flow. Uh, so this is that big... Uh, shipping container station that I was talking about. Now, this is going to extend out, and this is going to go into the next base plate, so it is going to be bigger, uh, and I do plan on having pretty much almost every slot that you see here uh, filled with shipping containers. Now, of course, some of these are stacked, uh, and I did change, like, kind of the coloring. So the first one I did was white, and, of course, I did bring back the white, uh, but now I have tan. I've got, like, a dark bluish-gray one with a mixture of light bluish-gray, and I have a light bluish-gray one with a mixture of dark bluish-gray, uh, you know, I plan on doing like a full light bluish gray one and then, you know, I might some throw in like some brighter colors like red or uh, blue or something, but I do kind of like doing the neutral colors because that's kind of how the empire was. Uh, they were just very neutral colored. Uh, the, you know, the only thing that I think I've seen the most colorful thing from the empire is like the orange. And of course that's why I did add in some orange stripes on the side of the, uh, actual docks uh, and that's basically supposed to signif uh, signify the actual like TIE fighter hangers it's easier for the pilots to kind of see where the hangers start and end uh, and also of course you got the little red lights on top of there right here uh, is setting up for a crane now being that this second base plate ends right here of course I couldn't actually build the full crane unless I have uh, portions of this base plate done. So that's why I kind of like it's getting set up for it. So there, there is going to be another crane here. So you guys can just imagine another crane uh, going up at that point. Uh, and then I do want to add like a third crane over here or something. So that's the plan. Also, these like bottom 
hangers, I guess. Uh, I mean, this is where the ground vehicles are going to be. So, uh, but these down here, I'm going to probably do one more uh, going across. And then I'm going to do maybe two more, like, I don't know, TIE fighter hangers on this side. Uh, you know, the side of the command center thing. Uh, and then here, uh, hopefully by, by that point when I extend those out, uh, hopefully at this point, uh, I can get onto the actual like fuel pumps and tanks and all that for fueling the actual Star Destroyer that is docked there. Uh, so hopefully I can get to that point. Um, and then, of course, we'll get into uh, phase two, which is going to be over here. Uh, and that's that's going to be fun because that's when we're going to get to the actual airfield, uh, the kind of airstrip thing. And, you know, can do some, uh, you know, more uh, hangers that aren't, you know, implemented into the structure and actually make, you know, uh, actual hangers uh, on top of it as actual separate buildings. Uh, and then also, uh, I do want to do an aircraft, air traffic control tower. That'd be cool. So, yeah, guys, I know no time lapse. I wanted to do one today, like I said earlier, but uh, next video should be a major, major video for this building series. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.